Both water and solute molecules diffuse from regions of high concentration to regions of low concentration. Water molecules are very polar and cannot easily pass through the lipid of the cell membrane. Water flow through the membrane is facilitated by specialized protein channels called aquaporins. Solutes such as ions and sugars are not lipid soluble and therefore are not able to pass through the bilipid layer of the cell membrane without special transport proteins. Dissolved solutes interact with water molecules which form hydration shells around the charged solute molecules. When a membrane separates two solutions with different concentrations of solutes, different concentrations of free water molecules exist on the two sides of the membrane. The side with higher solute concentration ties up the water molecules in hydration shells. Free water molecules then move down their concentration gradient toward the higher solute concentration. This net water movement across a membrane toward a higher solute concentration by diffusion is called osmosis. If two solutions have unequal solute concentrations, the solution with the higher solute concentration is hypertonic and the solution with the lower solute concentration is hypotonic. If the solute concentrations of the two solutions are equal, the solutions are isotonic. If red blood cells are placed in a solution with a higher solute concentration than the solute concentration in the cytoplasm of the cells, water diffuses out of the cells, causing them to shrivel up. If red blood cells are placed in a hypotonic solution where the solute concentration of the solution is less than the solute concentration in the cytoplasm, water diffuses into the cells, causing them to swell and eventually burst. In contrast, plant cells are surrounded by strong cell walls, which can withstand high internal pressures without bursting. In a hypertonic solution, the cell membrane shrinks within the cell, but the cell wall remains intact. This is called plasmolysis. When placed in a hypotonic solution, cells surrounded by cell walls swell but do not burst because the cell wall is strong enough to withstand the turgor pressure.